Hi everybody, welcome back to The Spiritual Alphabet. And today's topic is energy. Particularly, well, I'll start with talking about spiritual energy because, well, we're here looking at the spiritual alphabet. And so, as always, I'm really curious to know what does that mean to you? What does spiritual energy mean to you, if anything? And if it means something to you, how do you work with it? How do you manage it? How do you uh, know that it's there? And how do you uh, increase it in moments where you want to? And so let me share with you what I think about this. I mean, this, this topic could go very woo-woo, but it could also be surprisingly practical. And I'll, I'll try to do a little bit of both. And uh, I look forward to, you know, if you want to share your thoughts below as well because I think it is an important, important topic. Um, well, everything is energy, right? <laughs> if we start with, well, uh, this is either woo-woo spiritual or this is physics, very grounded physics. Everything is energy. Everything is light. Everything is light. And in its various forms, turned into physical objects or gas or you know liquid etc and our even our thoughts and our emotions are energy right there's energy coursing through our bodies um, and it expresses itself as certain emotions and certain thoughts you might say some of us believe that thoughts come from outside the body and they may come from spiritual entities uh, they may come from the higher soul they may come from uh, your soul playing the avatar of the human body anyway everything is energy everything is light in its various forms right and yet we also have cycles of energy energetic uplift and energetic um, depression you might say cycles right throughout the day throughout our chapters of our lives certain chapters have more spiritual energy you might say so let's talk about what 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 do we mean by spiritual energy and again chat below and i a comment below i'd like to, to know your your thoughts on this but just for the sake of simplicity of discussion i'll say that spiritual energy I'm going to just say that it's the positive side of spiritual energy, okay? There's negative spiritual energy as well, but I'm just going to say spiritual energy. When I say that, I mean the positive things like feelings of love, feelings of... So I think spiritual energy is noticed by, by the human mind and body system. It's noticed by the human mind and body system as uh, kind of a, an emotional, positive experience love inspiration courage um gratitude um forgiveness um connection uh so those when we when we feel those things the more deeply we feel them the more i believe we are experiencing spiritual energy and wouldn't it be nice <laughs> for us to experience those kinds of feelings more often throughout our lives and even throughout a single day. Wouldn't it be a more beautiful life experience if you felt more gratitude, more love, more courage, more um, connection to your higher self, to your divine source and connection, heartfelt connection to others? wouldn't it be beautiful to have more of that life and truly is there anything else we want more and people work for money they work for you know good relationships they work for pleasure they you know they they the people try to get those things through activity through action and yet all of those things it seems to me are just trying to generate a positive spiritual energy i mean because if you get money, so what? Okay, you have money to be able to feel secure. Okay, so the feeling of security is spiritual energy, right? You have money to be able to buy 
Um, yeah, sure. There, you have to keep up with the body, and that's something we'll talk about right after this. You have to keep, keep, you know, maintain the body and maintain, you know, um, if you you want love, you want relationship. Well, you want relationship because you would like to feel connected, and you would like to feel loved. Uh, you would like to feel um, adventure or whatever. Well, that's all spiritual energy that you really are. That's really ultimately what we want to experience, and the material things that the worldly activities are just a what we believe is a doorway into those spiritual experiences right so what if we can cut out the middleman what if we can generate spiritual energy more reliably and without the need to acquire material experiences material things and you know make make someone uh love us or whatever right what if like what if it, what if we were stuck in a an, in a cave all by ourselves right most people who don't know how to manage their spiritual energy would be frightened would be would be well frightened for sure and would be uh hopeless and da, 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 all this negativity would would come in but the one who has practiced spiritual energy management would be able to generate feelings of gratitude, inspiration, courage, love, faith, connection, da da da, even if they were in the most dire circumstances. And so, this is what I've been practicing for the past couple of weeks is to notice spiritual energy and to and to practice ways to generate that you might know uh if you've been watching my videos for a while that i often talk about something called the energy reboot well now you know what the purpose of that is it's really to generate spiritual energy and that's why i do the energy reboot multiple times a day because throughout our day the worldly life tends to depress us, bring hardship naturally. This is for all of us, uh, bring, a, a, bring negativity. And so we have to find the way to continually reboot our energy. And that's what I do with my energy reboot, right? Um, and I'll, I'll share with, and you can look that up. You can, you can go to Google or ChatGPT and ask George Cow's energy reboot and you will find my multiple videos and articles about how I do that. Okay, so something to check out. But let me give you something that I've been um, practicing uh, that is more direct than an energy reboot. Um, who knows, maybe this is, this is the next level of the energy reboot, okay, which is this. The the quest, the, it's three steps, okay? The first step is, and the, the, the purpose of this, right? The purpose of this new practice, um, I'm gonna call this intention embodiment, something like that, okay? Purpose of intention embodiment is to bring spiritual energy into the very moment. And the first step is to begin with asking, what is my intention? What is my preferred intention right now. So for example, I was getting close to the end of my work day. I'm almost done with my work day. And but I was feeling tired emotionally, naturally, it's towards the end of the work day. But I'm almost completed. And I think if I just took another 15 minutes to complete this, it would be complete. And I have the time that I schedule for work 15 more minutes. But I was emotionally tired. And this you can apply this to any period of the work day. I was feeling emotionally tired. I have scheduled the time to keep working, but I want to do something else instead. I want to play a video game. I want to go and, you know, play hooky or whatever, but it's like, it's just a little bit more. And one of the things that I've been learning about personal growth continually, again and again, still learning this, is that we can usually stretch more than we give ourselves credit for. Um, I, I'm not saying to overstretch and break yourself and burn out, 
But we can usually, like when we are intentionally trying to grow and do something and accomplish something more than we've accomplished before, we can usually stretch just a bit more than we think we can. And by stretching just a bit more, we, we discover uh, an expanded capacity, more strength than we thought we had. And that broadens our soulful uh, abilities, okay? So anyway, so I'm, I'm a bit tired. I have some more time. My intention is, my preferred intention in that moment is I'm going to continue working with joyful productivity until the end of the hour, just like I scheduled, instead of, you know, giving in to, you know, mindless entertainment, okay? I'm just going to work with joyful productivity and stretch myself just a little bit more, right? That was my preferred intention in that moment. So that's the first question. What is your preferred intention? The second question is, what embodiment aligns with it? What embodiment aligns with that preferred intention? Very important, right? Because, because when I was emotionally tired and like wanting to go, to, I was probably something like this, you know, something like this, like, oh, I just want to go and numb myself with video games or with junk food or whatever, numb myself, right? But my my embodiment for joyful productivity would instead be shoulders back, chest forward, gentle smile on the face, you know, looking up with hope. That would be the aligned embodiment for joyful productivity, something like that, with maybe with hands out. And so I did that. And instantly, as I do, as I go from this, to like this with a smile with an intention for in this case joyful productivity spiritual energy comes in instantly there's more spiritual energy immediately and i think i did an energy reboot at that moment to further further bring more spiritual energy in and so that's it what's your preferred intention right now what is the aligned embodiment with that what's the embodiment that's aligned with that intention and then really step three is do that and continue on that track. Maybe do an energy reboot. Maybe that's my third, third step is any energy. Just continue on that track and continue doing whatever you were doing, whatever you intended to do, whatever your intention was with that embodiment for as long as you can. You know, maybe it's the next three minutes. Maybe I was, gonna, I was able to work three or five more minutes you know, with stretching myself a little bit. Maybe it wasn't 15 minutes. Maybe it was three to five more minutes. But I stretched myself a little bit more, which helped me to grow. All right. So um, let's complete this video by talking about uh, how do we maintain our physical energy because, to, because we are embodied. We are, we are in this physical body-mind system that requires maintenance and requires... Uh, careful management to have the physical energy think of the maslow's hierarchy right kind of like that you have to have your body has to survive <laughs> if you want to have higher experiences in this body right while you're still in this body so so the question i have for myself and for you how can we take care of our bodies so that we have more capability to bring spiritual energy so things like, for me, it's taking a couple of quick naps, short naps a day. It's obviously sleeping enough at night. Sleep, I think, is the first foundation of, of energy. Um, sleep, nightly sleep, and maybe naps during the day. If, if, you're, if that helps you, it helps me a lot. Um, and of course, exercise and you know, nutritious food and connection with friends and family or you know people that you can connect with on a regular basis that fills your heart that helps with your spiritual energy as well so what are the body heart maintenance that you need to be more careful of so that you have the capacity to generate spiritual energy and the last thing i'll say the last thing i'll say is this ultimately even to manage your body well okay so for example it's at it's 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 at night you're supposed to go to bed now but you're physically tired you're even 
Have you, been, have you ever felt this way? You're too physically and emotionally tired to have the inspiration and the energy to start your nightly routine so you can go to bed on time, right? So this is why a lot of us like keep watching Netflix or keep playing a video game or keep working even, whatever we're doing, because we're, we're too tired to switch tracks to start getting ready for bed, <laughs> okay? So like even, even main, main management of the one's body, even taking care of one's body well, right? Um, even taking care of one's body well um, requires the initial spark of spiritual energy of willingness, willingness and openness, which ultimately I think comes from love, love with a capital L, like the love of the divine heals and opens us up to the willingness to grow, the willingness to be our best possible selves. And so it's like, to me, like it still keeps coming back to spiritual energy being the most primary thing. It's like, we have to practice, 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 generating spiritual energy in every single moment. Because even the willingness to do something physically for our better life, for our, for our potential requires spiritual energy to say, okay, I'm going to change. I'm going down, you know, a, a, a bad spiral. I'm going to, I have to have the spiritual willingness to then move over to a more positive behavior. So anyway, I hope these reflections are helpful to you in some way. Again, ask yourself, how can I gen practice generating spiritual energy? And what am I doing on a regular habitual basis that allows me to more easily generate spiritual energy regularly? So thank you so much for, for joining me on this journey and I wish you well.